Hello and welcome to our lesson on auxiliary verbs in English. In this video, we will delve into the what auxiliary verbs are, their types, uses and examples. Auxiliary verbs, also known as helping verbs, are verbs that add functional or grammatical meaning to the main verb in a sentence. They are used to form different tenses, moods, voices and aspects of the main verb. Auxiliary verb is defined as a verb such as be, do and have used with main verbs to show tense and to form questions and negatives. It can also be defined as the verbs be, do, have in English when they are used with another verb to form tenses, questions and the passive. It can also be defined as a verb that is used with another verb to form tenses, negatives and questions. In, auxiliary, uh, in English, the auxiliary verbs are be, have and do. Types of auxiliary verbs There are two main types of auxiliary verbs. Primary auxiliary verbs and model auxiliary verbs. Primary auxiliary verbs include be, have and do. Be is used to form continuous or progressive tenses and passive voice. Have is used to form perfect tenses and do is used to form questions, negative and emphatic statements. Can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, ought to are the model auxiliary verbs. These verbs express necessity, possibility, permission, ability and other model meanings. Primary auxiliary verbs. Primary auxiliary verbs include be, have and do. Let's break these down. Forms and uses of be. The verb be has several forms that is am, is, are, was, were, be, being and been. It's used to form the continuous tenses and passive voice. For example, in the present continuous tense, we will say he is reading a book and in passive voice the cake is made by the chef auxiliary verbs can be used to perform different functions in a sentence or context auxiliary verbs act as helping verbs to alter the tense voice and mood of a sentence now look at these examples how to make continuous tenses using be present continuous she is reading a book they were playing a soccer is an example of past continuous, future continuous, I will be traveling tomorrow. Now look at the passive voice examples. Present passive, the cake is made by the chef. Past passive, the homework was done by the student. Future passive, the project will be completed by the next week. Uses of have. Have forms include have, has, had and having. It's used to form perfect tenses. For instance, I have finished my homework is in the present perfect tense. And she had left before I arrived is in the past perfect tense. Look at some more examples. Present perfect, I have finished my homework. Past perfect, she had left before I arrived. Future perfect, they will have completed the task by then. Uses of do. The forms of do are do, does and did. It's used to form questions, negatives and emphatic statements. Examples include, do you like ice cream for questions? And I do not understand for negatives and I do know the answers for emphasis. Look at some other examples. Do you like ice cream or did she call you is the question form. For negatives, I don't understand. He doesn't play football and for emphatic statements. She did finish her homework. 
मॉडल ऑक्सलरी वर्ब्स मॉडल ऑक्सलरी वर्ब्स एक्सप्रेस इज नेसेसिटी पॉसिबिलिटी परमिशन एबिलिटी एंड अदर मॉडल मीनिंग्स दे इंक्लूड कैन कोड मे माइट विल वुड शेल शुड मस्ट एंड ऑट टू वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो इन इंग्लिश ग्रामर प्ले लिस्ट ऑन माई चैनल हेयर इज द समरी फॉर दिस लेक्चर इन द टेबल फॉर्म लुक एट दिस टेबल एंड ट्राई टू क्लियर योर कॉन्सेप्ट ऑक्सलरी व बी द फॉर्म्स आर एम इज आर वॉज वर बी बींग and it's used to form continuous or progressive tenses and to form the passive voice for example she is reading a book or the cake is made by the chef auxiliary verb have have the forms have has had and having it is used to form the perfect tenses for example i have finished my homework she had left before i arrived they will have completed the task by then auxiliary verb do have three forms do does and did it is used to form questions to form negatives and to form emphatic statements for example do you like ice cream i do not understand and i do know the answer auxiliary verbs play a crucial role in english grammar by helping to form various tenses voices moods and aspects understanding their forms and uses is essential for mastering the language and constructing grammatically correct and meaningful sentences remember to practice using these verbs in different contexts to gain confidence and fluency thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more grammar lessons see you next time thank you